you can start by selecting company name from the standards menu. The info you enter here will be added to the heading of everything you print in the program, such as shop plans, elevations and contracts. You can add your email address or phone number if you would like. Each of the three lines is limited to 50 characters. Next, select Drawing Colors from the File menu. In this window you can set the colors used for the walls, cabinets, countertops, and trim. You can choose from the default colors or you can create your own color. Also in this window you can turn off the color for the elevations and floor plan views. This can help to save on printing costs. Now choose Select 3D Images from the File menu. Here you will select the textures that will be applied in the 3D renderings. You can choose from the available images or create your own solid color and add a name for it. The selections can be added to the job you are currently working on or they can be set as the default to be used for any future jobs. Now on to the general standards. There are too many settings to cover all of them in this video. Most should be self-explanatory. One very handy one is the checkbox to open the most recent file when the program starts up. Another is the font height settings. You can use this if the program's fonts are too large or too small. While here you can set your cabinet material names. The one you enter in the first box will be the default used for all parts but you can change them individually when creating a cabinet. In the upper standards you can set your defaults for your wall cabinets. Again, these should mostly be self-explanatory. Be sure to select the type of doors you are most likely to use. You can see all the different available types by pressing the button with the question mark on it. The same general principle applies to the base and tall cabinet standards. In the drawer standards you can set how the program calculates your drawer boxes. The deduct for width and deduct for height settings tell the program how much smaller than the drawer opening to make the drawer box. The deduct for depth tells the program how much shorter than the cabinet depth to make the drawer box. In the door standards you tell the program how to calculate your door parts. If you are building frameless cabinets you will need to use the special overlay to ensure the doors are of the correct size. A handy feature is the ability to change all doors of one type to another type within the current job. This can save you a lot of time when your customer changes their mind about which type of doors they want. In the prices window you enter the price per foot or meter for your cabinets. The price you enter can include everything, including installation or you can use the add miscellaneous items to add in your delivery and installation separately.